Welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Matt, and I'm Karen. Today we are looking at part three of our story called Reunion, and we know that reunions are, you know, meeting someone, you know, maybe your family or friends or classmates after a very long period of time of not seeing them, right? Yeah, and so in our story, we've seen that they're maybe not having the reunion that they wanted, so it's not a great reunion. And you know, recently I had a reunion that that wasn't great. So mm, okay. it was an awkward reunion. An awkward reunion? You mean like a situation where it makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable? Yeah. So I was teaching at a new school for just one week. Okay. Okay. And so when I arrived at the school, someone needed to come to the front door to let me in. All right. And when the front door opened. It was my ex-girlfriend from eight years ago, who I hadn't seen for eight years. You are kidding me! What a small world. So it was a reunion. Okay, and then a, that was a bit awkward. But I was like, okay, she worked at the school. Maybe I won't have to see her very often at the school. Uh huh. And then they told me uh -huh. she will be your co-teacher, <gasps> so we will teach the class together for this one week. You are kidding me! Wow, that would be very, very awkward. But did you guys have a really bad breakup? No, fortunately, the breakup wasn't bad. So teaching with her wasn't so awkward. After the first two days of the <laughs> week,、uh, it was a little more comfortable, and we were able to teach together just fine. Okay, so there are all different types of reunions out there. Some of them are wonderful, very happy. But some could get a little bit awkward, like Matt's reunion, right?、Yeah. Okay, well, let's find out what's going to happen in our reunion today in the story. My time was up. I needed to return to the train station, so my father took me there. Before he let me go, he wanted to buy me a newspaper. At the newsstand. He gave the clerk a hard time. Today we're talking about the reunion part three.、Mm -hmm. So this is a story about a boy who is in New York City and he's arrived to visit with his father, who he hasn't seen for three years. So he's been with his father having the reunion and the father has taken the son to many restaurants. But none of the restaurants will serve them or let them eat there, because the father is so rude. Exactly, he was being very impolite to all the waiters and all the people working in the restaurant, right? So they're not. They must be very hungry by now, but. I don't know if they'll be able to eat. I guess we'll find out in part three. Mm-hmm. And I remember in part one, the boy said, "Oh, I think I want to grow up just to、yeah. be like my father." So I wonder, maybe that has changed or not. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go into today's story. My time was up. What does it mean by my time was up? My time was up means that whatever period of time there was, there is no more left. So the time has. Finished, or there's no more time for something.、Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you're writing a quiz and you get to the end of the time you are allowed to write, your teacher might say, "Pencils down, your time is up."、Mm -hmm. So, in this case, the boy's time was up, meaning he needs to get back to the train station because he has a train to get on. That's right. And then remember, he was on like, like he had a 90-minute wait, right?、Mm -hmm. So that means that time was up. He had to go back. I needed to return to the train station, so my father took me there. So return is our next vocabulary word, and that is a verb. So to return basically just means to go back to a place. So I could say that my sister is returning home tomorrow. So maybe she went traveling somewhere to another country, and then finally she's coming back home tomorrow. Then I can say my sister is returning home tomorrow. That's right, and you might use this with things as well. If you borrow a book from the、ah. library, you can return the book to the library. Mm-hmm. You're right. The story continues. Before he let me go. He wanted to buy me a newspaper. Hmm. He wanted to buy him a newspaper. Okay. 
Well, newspaper is our next vocabulary word, and that is a noun. I think before you know smartphones and then the、mm -hmm. internet, a lot of people, if they want to understand what's going on in the world, they want to know the news. Usually, people would buy newspaper, the large sheets of paper that are together, and then you have, you know, different sections. Maybe the sports section, the entertainment section, the important news section. So you can learn about what's happening. Sometimes in the newspaper, you can also see the classified ads if you want to look for a job. But this is like. Back in the days where people didn't really have internet or smartphones, right? You know, my father actually still gets the newspaper delivered to his house, and he still reads the newspaper every morning before he goes to work. Really? So、yes. he doesn't read it on the internet, on the computer, on his phone. I think he, he watches the news on TV and reads the newspaper、At、from the, the actual、time. paper in the morning. Ah,、yeah, so. so he has a habit of reading the newspaper, right? Yeah,、mm. he, he likes the. To hold the actual newspaper, he likes it more than just just looking at a screen. Swiping your phone. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> at the newsstand, he gave the clerk a hard time.、Mm. Okay. So we have this word newsstand.、Mm -hmm. What's a newsstand? So a newsstand is a place where you can buy newspapers. And a newsstand is like a small store that's on the side of the road. But it is just a stand, meaning there's no way to go inside. It's just something that you stand next to, and you maybe tell him what you want to buy. So usually, a newsstand will sell things like newspapers, magazines, and also some small snacks and also drinks.、Mm -hmm. so. And usually, you would see the newsstands in movies, right? If they're、mm -hmm. showing the New York City. That's right. Of course. Okay. So at the newsstand, he gave the clerk a hard time. So the clerk is someone who works at the newsstand. So if someone who's working in a store, you can also call that person the clerk. And when you say giving someone a hard time, you're actually making their life a little difficult, right? So if I'm giving Matt a hard time,、mm. I might be giving him a lot of trouble, and then he will have to think, okay, what should I do now? I don't know what to do, right?、Mm -hmm. You could also give your friend a hard. Time,、mm. which usually just means joking with your friend. You'd be like, "Oh, your friend has some shoes that you think are ugly." We'd be like, "Nice shoes." <laughs> <laughs> just and he he's like, "Hey," and you go, "I'm just giving you a hard time." Like so you're teasing your teasing friend, your right? Friend.、Mm. But here, I don't think he's joking though. I think、no. at the newsstand, the father was actually giving the clerk a hard time. Maybe he's like, "No, I want this. No, 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 I want this、yeah. one. No, 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 I want this one." So. The clerk is actually, you know, not really happy about the father. Yeah. So the father has made many people angry on this day, and it sounds like maybe the son won't want to be like his father anymore. Yeah. I wonder what's going to happen after the break. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. See you guys after the break. I asked my father to hurry, but he didn't. Instead, he said, "Give me a second. I want to make this man mad." Goodbye, Daddy. I said. Then I went down the stairs and got on my train. I never saw my father again after that. Welcome back, everyone. So before the break, right? We already learned that the father was actually a really rude person, very impolite, and then、um, he went to the newsstand, but he was being very, very rude to the clerk and giving the clerk a hard time, right?、Yeah. So what is going to happen next? I guess we'll find out. I asked my father to hurry, but he didn't. <laughs> Okay, so there's a vocabulary word in there, which is to hurry. To hurry means to go very fast or to go quickly at something. So to do something fast is to hurry.、Mm -hmm. So you might say, "I'm late for school. I need to hurry."、Mm -hmm. So maybe you're throwing everything in your backpack and running out the door. Because you need to hurry to get to school on time. That's right. To doing something really, really quickly, right? So instead, he said, "Give me a second. I want to make this man mad." Oh, 
Wow. So he didn't really have a good intention, right?、Mm-hmm. So we have this word instead, and that is an adverb. Basically, it means right here means that something is chosen and not the other thing. The other thing is not chosen. So he told his dad to hurry. So his dad thinking, okay, I'm not going to hurry. I want to. Do something else instead. I want to make this man mad.、Mm. Or you could also say, I was going to call you, but I wrote you an email instead.、Mm-hmm. You also said, give me a second.、Mm-hmm. So to give me a second means the same as to wait a second. So、That's、you could、right. also say, give me a minute, give me five minutes. It's like wait. I need this time, so give it to me. So give me a second.、Mm-hmm. And he wants to use that second to make this man mad.、Mm. Ooh, so mad can mean either angry, or it can also mean crazy.、Mm. Or you can think of it meaning crazy with anger. So、That's、he、right. wants to make this man so angry that he is going crazy. Mm-hmm. So it's not a very nice thing to do to try to make someone mad. Exactly,、mm-hmm. but he made so many people mad just in one day, right? Yeah, he's got the waiters. He's made mad. I think about you know so many waiters, and then now the news, the man working at the newsstand. Exactly. So I guess from you know the story, I don't think the father is a very happy person. Because、no, someone who is really happy. Wouldn't want to make someone mad or miserable、mm-hmm. all the time. Okay, well, let's continue. <laughs> Goodbye, Daddy. I said. Then I went down the stairs and got on my train. Okay, so he just said goodbye to his dad and no hugs and no saying I love you, Daddy. I miss、mm-hmm. you. Just goodbye, Dad. So I guess. Maybe he was a little bit disappointed, right? It sounds like, and、um, yeah, maybe if he he would have said, "I love you, I'll miss you, I'll see you soon," but not just goodbye, Daddy. Mm-hmm. And then he says, "I never saw my father again after that." So I guess he didn't want to see his father, or he didn't want to visit his father again. That's right. So that visit was, went so badly that he's now decided that he will never, or I guess in the rest of his life, he never saw his father again. Hmm.、So、I mean, but which is really interesting because at the beginning of the story,、mm-hmm. he was very excited, very happy to see his dad, and he's like, "Oh, I really want to grow up to be just like my dad." So the dad was kind of like a Role model. Yeah, he said his dad was big and handsome at the beginning.、Right. He, to, he said he thought his father was very impressive, and that when he grows up, he'll be just like him.、Mm-hmm. But as the story went on, we learned that maybe he's not someone that you want to be like. Exactly. Maybe his father was not exactly a good role model, and he understands that. So I think this little boy understand. How it is, how important it is to be polite or nice to other people, right?、Mm-hmm. Mm. After seeing his father be rude to the waiters and rude to the man at the newsstand, the boy realized that his father was maybe not a good person and not someone that he should see again. Hmm. But I don't know. Maybe after some time, maybe the father will change. We never know because people do change. Maybe the father will eventually learn his lesson. Well, that's. Very happy thinking from you. <laughs> anyway, always ho- be positive. Always be positive. Anyway, I hope that the father does learn his lesson, and I hope you enjoyed the story today.、Mm-hmm. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. My time was up. I needed to return to the train station, so my father took me there. Before he let me go, he wanted to buy me a newspaper. At the newsstand, he gave the clerk a hard time. I asked my father to hurry, but he didn't. Instead, he said, "Give me a second. I want to make this man mad." Goodbye, Daddy. I said. Then I went down the stairs and got on my train. I never saw my father again after that. Hello, I'm Tina. 我们来看一下这一课的重点单词。第一个 return return 动词返回。Josh finally returned home after many years of traveling. 
Josh 在外地旅行多年之后，终于回到他的家了。下一个单字 newspaper newspaper 名词报纸。My dad always reads the newspaper at breakfast. 我爸每天早上吃早餐时都会看报纸。下一个单字 hurry hurry 动词赶忙急忙。You need to hurry. The bus is coming. 你得快一点，公车就要来了。最后一个单字 mad。Mad, 形容词，生气的。My mother was very mad at me this morning. 今天早上我妈对我非常生气。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，My time was up. 我的时间到了。Time is up. 意思是时间到了。想想看，我们什么状况下常常听到这句话呢？是不是考试的时候啊？老师会说，考试时间到喽。Okay, everybody. Time's up. Hand in your test paper. 好喽，大家，时间到了，把考卷交上来哦。下一个文法 ，buy somebody something， 买某个东西给某个人，也可以说 buy something for somebody。我们来看看这个例句。My father bought me a new watch yesterday. 我爸爸昨天买了一只新手表给我。你也可以这样说 ，My father bought a new watch for me yesterday. 最后一个文法 ，A gives B a hard time. A 为难，刁难 B。我们来看看这个例句。Ben's stepfather often gives him a hard time at home. Ben 的继父在家时常刁难 Ben. Stepfather 就是继父。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法。我们下一课再见喽，拜拜。Hi everyone, I'm Stephen Rong. Do you know what wafers or ICs are? They are very common in our daily lives. Let's go in the TSMC Museum of Innovation and find out more secrets about them. A wafer is a material used for integrated circuits (ICs). It is made of silicon. A wafer is a round, thin, and flat slice. An IC is a tiny chip. You can find one on a circuit board. ICs can be found in our daily items, such as smartphones, coffee machines, drones, Bluetooth headsets, and more. I never knew so many things had ICs in them. I really learned a lesson today. See you next time.